My name is Chuck Eicholtz. I'm the new director at the Salisbury Zoo. Please come and visit us. And it's showtime! You know, earlier in the summer, we had the pleasure of sitting down with Leonora Dillon, the former director of the Salisbury Zoo. She got to share her future plans and look back at her time spent introducing the community to all the special animals, programs, and experiences. So, the search then began in earnest to find a suitable successor to Lenora, and guess what? They didn't have to look very far. <laughs> this is Chuck Eichholz. He is the new director of the Salisbury Zoo. Thank you so yeah. much for joining Good us. Good afternoon. Good to yeah. see you. Good to see you. Tell us a little bit about you. Give us your background. <laughs> well, um, started back in 1984. Yeah. Um, so I'm an old man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Would never know it. So the keepers taught me that. Oh, okay. uh, so, um, but yeah, I still, um, I started at the SeaWorld Parks. Um, we actually had a, a park in Ohio. Um, for many, many years. It was actually the second SeaWorld Park in, there was, you had San Diego and then you had Ohio. Mm -hmm. And it was a great park. Uh, I grew up basically going there every year. Um, and one day I was like, I'm gonna do that. This is what I want. And I became a trainer. Um, it was awesome. Wow. So you were the curator for the Salisbury Zoo before you accepted that posi this position. Mm -hmm. What was involved with that job? Well, <laughs> originally we were, I was supposed to be coming, move to Delaware to retire. <laughs> uh, me and my wife. Well, that went right out the window. <laughs> it sure did. Um, and I was just, you know, Google searching and they were looking for a curator. Um, so I'm like, all right. So I applied for it, got the position, um, got to work with Leonora, and we started developing the plans for the future. And it's been a, an amazing journey. Um, we've got a fantastic staff. Yeah. Um, got a fantastic collection of animals. Um, it's awesome. Okay, so snapshot of your typical uh, of your typical day to day. <laughs> well, okay. So <laughs> let's see. This morning, walked in. Um, so we have. I I always make sure I get here early. Yeah. Um, and so we always have an animal checks the very first thing in the morning. So just in case something happens, right. we have tree limbs that fall down overnight because of. So I have to get maintenance guys out to fix that stuff. Um, so it's just an ongoing. We may, may have medical procedures that day um, with the hospital. Um, so we're actively involved pretty much every hour of the day. Wow. And no two days are the same. They I are not. <laughs> and that's what's kept me in this industry. Is yeah. I walk in every day. It's a different day. And they have zero regrets. So what are your hopes for the future of the zoo? Hopes for the, well, I mean, we are going to get our AZA accreditation back. I mean, and that was um, due to several years, or quite a few years of just the zoo operating not up to par. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the facility actually got degraded and nobody was upgrading and they, everybody was fine with that. Or the other thing was, is we are building temporary exhibits instead of building real exhibits. So. I hit the ground running here. We actually broke ground on a new, brand new eagle exhibit. Um, we've got the fabricators. They're actually at the park right now, um, designing a brand new eagle exhibit. And we're planning for the future. The old exhibit was about 18 feet wide, about 24 feet long. It wasn't that big. This one is about 22 feet wide, 100 feet long and 24 feet tall. So we're looking for the future of having, possibly having flighted eagles in the future. Oh, there's some uh, changes are coming, aren't there? Oh my gosh, incredible. we're designing a brand new Andean bear exhibit, um, which we're hoping that we'll be able, to, we're gonna probably be launching a campaign here in it very shortly uh, to raise about $5 million. Do you need volunteers? Oh, <laughs> do we need volunteers? Another million dollar question. Uh, very good, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we will take volunteers, we actually, Again, in this pro in a, since I've been hired, we've hired a new education curator. Yeah. Um, we're revamping our volunteer program. So before it was kind of a little strict to get there, and now we're trying to make volunteering as streamlined as possible. So um, look on your website for events. Um, there's always volunteering opportunities. Um, there's a volunteer tab, please, if you are interested. I mean, it could be anything from animal care to doing education program, special events, construction because we have an in-house maintenance team that we are actually going to be building new exhibits. Chuck, I love your enthusiasm. No, I love it. And uh, I can't wait to have you back in, and you said maybe you'll bring in some animals yeah. next time. So I have a question for you. Oh, What's yeah. your favorite animal? <gasps> Ooh. Well, 
I would probably say giraffe, otherwise that'd be kind of tough to answer. <laughs> the bears, okay. I love the bears, Great. and I love the monkeys. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we've got some new monkeys actually that um, have arrived. So we have a new cotton top tamarind and a black tufted tamarind. Mm -hmm. I can see a trip to the zoo in our near future. And it's free. It's, it's free. Absolutely, yes. Thank please. you for keeping it free. Thank yeah. you so much, Great. Chuck, for Thank coming you. in today. Oh, it's wonderful having you here. <laughs>